Dragon's Dogma 2 dropped and with it, a tempest ensued. At the heart of this storm, microtransactions. Yes, the dreaded M word that can send any gamer into a frenzy. Capcom decided to sprinkle these into the game, offering things like fast travel points, character resurrection, and even cosmetic recustomization for a few bucks on Steam. The heat isn't just on Capcom for this decision. Oh no, it's also turned towards the reviewers and YouTubers who praise the game to the high heavens without mentioning these microtransactions. Did they know? Yes, they did. Was it overlooked? Let's get into it. Here's the scoop. Reviewers were well aware of these microtransactions. There was a guide, a PDF, detailing every tiny transaction you could make in the game. But here's the kicker despite knowing, the microtransactions barely made a blip on their radar. Why? Because in the grand scheme of things, their impact on the game was, well, pretty inconsequential. There's a bit of a fog of war here. Some folks think these microtransactions are the only way to get certain features, but that's not the whole truth. The game itself throws these items at you just for playing. Yes, you can spend real money, but it's not the only path to these perks. This isn't a pay-to-win scenario, it's more like a pay if you're impatient. Why didn't reviewers mention these microtransactions? It's simple, really. In the vast ocean of gameplay, features, and narrative threads to cover, these microtransactions were but a drop. There is no sinister plot, no attempt to deceive. Just a choice to focus on what truly shapes the game experience. It's peculiar Capcom's decision to include these transactions. They're like little pebbles on a vast beach, not enough to trip over, but still. Why are they there? It's a practice seen across the industry, but it leaves us scratching our heads, especially when there are titans like Baldur's Gate 3 or Elden Ring that steer clear of this path. So what's the takeaway? It's not about vilifying reviewers or Capcom though, maybe a side eye at Capcom is warranted. It's about understanding the context. Dragon's Dogma 2 is an epic adventure and these microtransactions. A footnote in an otherwise sprawling tome. It's a reminder to look at the big picture to understand the nuances of gaming in today's world. And with that, we wrap up today's dive into the eye of the storm. What do you think about Dragon's Dogma 2 and its microtransaction controversy? Sound off in the comments below. And as always, keep it locked right here on Joystick News for all your gaming insights and updates. Until next time, game on!